This is our patient, 49-year-old male here for both shoulders. Uh, he was diving, playing some baseball um, five, five months ago or so. Um, and uh, since then, having a lot of pain, mainly in the right shoulder, he had an MRI, which shows a full thickness, just about complete supraspinatus tear. Otherwise, his infraspinatus is intact and subscapularis tendons are intact. Uh, also, biceps tendon is intact as well. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and look at it on the ultrasound just, just to see what a full thickness tear appears like uh, in a 49 year old male. So, here's our first clip. This is long access subscap tendon. The left side of the screen is medial. And here you can see an essentially intact subscapularis tendon attaching on the lesser tuberosity. Fairly preserved, you can see it inserting on the lesser tuberosity. And here's the biceps tendon at the superior aspect of the subscap tendon. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick short access view of it. Try to keep that one all the way out. It doesn't like that. So here's our short access view. It's fairly preserved. And again, intact subscap tendon, you can see a little bit of subdeltoid bursitis as well. See the biceps tendon, that's the superior margin of the subscap tendon. Okay, now I want you to put your hand on your hip. Let me just, this is our clip that I'm interested in. So here we are, we can see the greater tuberosity. Uh, 857, and there's just nothing there. It's just a space. You can see a little cartilage interface sign. That little white line right above the humeral head is the cartilage interface sign consistent with a rotator cuff tear. There's some fluid interfacing with the hyaline cartilage, but just nothing there. Um, here's the biceps tendon at 857, so we know we're at the anterior margin of the supraspinatus, and we're going posteriorly, okay. and we just see nothing. Left side of the screen is medial. May be able to make out a little bit of a muscle stump. I'm going to do a short access view because you see biceps tendon in the groove going posterior, which is to the left side of the screen, and just again, just a black space there. So here's that biceps tendon again, which is the anterior margin of the supraspinatus tendon, and it's just a black space or a void where you would expect to see the supraspinatus tendon. Here we are, we're getting to some of the infraspinatus tendon. And as you go posteriorly, you can see some of the infraspinatus tendon. Here's the infraspinatus muscle, 859 uh, tendon. You can see it inserting on the gray tuberosity, it looks preserved. And here the infraspinatus again is intact, so really just a complete tear of the supraspinatus.